I believe my husband Steve is a cheater. Steve has been living a secret life for the past 15 years. I believe something is going on and I have a lot of evidence. Robin McGraw, the wife of Dr. Phil, has surprised everyone by finally speaking out. After facing rumors about her appearance and surgery and people questioning her husband's loyalty, Robin decided to clear the air. She didn't just shock everyone with her truth. It's his name, Steve. We don't even have this cable company. That's very suspicious. A telephone, credit card, his name on it, to buy his girlfriend gifts. That's all a bunch of It wouldn't say, hi, Steve. Yeah. And sparked new conversations about the criticism aimed at her husband's work. What did she say that has captured so much attention? Let's dive into Robin's recent comments about her care and her thoughts on her husband. Robin's ptosis surgery, Robin McGraw, the wife of Dr. Phil, has always been known as the supportive partner behind the famous TV personality. While Dr. Phil McGraw is renowned for his straightforward advice and tough love approach on his long-running television show, Robin has been quietly building her own story away from the spotlight. She is an accomplished author, a successful businesswoman, and a passionate advocate for women's health and domestic abuse awareness. Through her books and lifestyle brand, Robin promotes self-care and empowerment for women everywhere. Despite the couple's public image of a strong and united front, new information has emerged about their relationship. Although they appear to have a picture-perfect marriage, their years together have not been without challenges. The public's curiosity about their partnership has only increased, leading many to wonder what lies behind the scenes of their seemingly ideal life. Recently, Robin has decided to share more about her experiences, shedding light on the realities of her marriage and the personal struggles she has faced. Dr. Phil often praises Robin, calling her his rock and expressing gratitude for her support through thick and thin. However, as the focus shifts to Robin, her strength and resilience are being recognized in a new light. She has recently opened up about a deeply personal issue that she kept hidden for many years, revealing a side of her life that many people didn't know about. Robin has shared that she battled a serious health problem, something that took a toll on her both physically and emotionally. The health issue Robin faced was ptosis, a condition that causes drooping eyelids. This condition not only affects a person's appearance, but can also impact vision. For years, Robin struggled with this problem, feeling self-conscious about how it made her look. Eventually, she made the difficult decision to undergo surgery to correct the issue. While the surgery was successful, the choice to have it was not easy for Robin. It stirred up a lot of emotions related to self-image and the natural aging process. So the natural evolution is women start to reach near or middle age, as your ovaries start to transition through that period with you, you start to lose estrogen, which is what they're primarily producing. Over the years, Robin faced public scrutiny and speculation regarding her appearance. Rumors about potential cosmetic treatments circulated, and people often questioned whether she had undergone surgery to enhance her looks. Despite the pressure and curiosity, Robin chose to remain silent, feeling that it was important to keep this part of her life private. However, after much reflection, she felt inspired to speak out and share her journey to empower others to make informed health decisions without the fear of judgment. Robin's decision to open up about her health struggles has resonated with many, especially women who grapple with similar concerns about aging and attractiveness in a world that often prioritizes physical beauty. Her honesty has provided a refreshing perspective encouraging conversations about self-care and personal health choices. Many women look up to her, seeing her as a role model who is willing to discuss topics that others might shy away from. As Robin began to share her story, questions arose about whether she had undergone plastic surgery, specifically a facelift, to maintain her youthful appearance. However, Robin is now setting the record straight and revealing the truth behind her rejuvenated look. It all started with her eyebrows, which had always made her feel insecure. She had been self-conscious about her brows for years, feeling they lacked shape and fullness. To address her concerns, Robin turned to Dr. Mark D., 
a hair restoration expert known for his innovative techniques. Dr. D performed an eyebrow transplant, a procedure that Robin found to be a viable option after years of tweezing her eyebrows. Robin discovered that the constant tweezing had left her with thin brows that never grew back properly. This realization pushed her to take the plunge and undergo the procedure. Robin has expressed excitement about her experience and has shared the details of her eyebrow transplant publicly. I eyebrow transplant. I learned that you can only transplant your own hair with Correct. their own supply. Right, and the more severe your hair loss pattern is, the less supply you have to cover it and the more you need, so it's like a catch-22. During the procedure, doctor, D carefully removed a small section of hair from Robin's scalp and extracted the hair follicles. These follicles were then grafted onto her eyebrows, giving her a completely new and natural look. Robin was so pleased with the results that she invited Dr. D onto her show to share the details of the procedure with her audience. Throughout this process, Robin has publicly thanked Dr. D for boosting her confidence and self-esteem. Before the surgery, she often felt unhappy with her eyebrows and would go to great lengths to hide them. After the transplant, she finally felt comfortable showing her true self to the world. The expertise and innovative methods used by Dr. D have allowed Robin and others to achieve natural-looking results without undergoing extensive surgery. One of the critical aspects of the eyebrow transplant procedure is that the hair follicles used can only be taken from the patient or an identical twin. This ensures a perfect match for color and texture, which minimizes the risk of complications and provides the most natural look possible. Robin's experience has not only transformed her appearance, but has also allowed her to embrace her self-image with newfound confidence. By sharing her story, Robin hopes to inspire others who may be facing similar issues or who feel insecure about their looks as they age. She wants to show that it is okay to seek help and make choices that will improve one's self-esteem and overall happiness. Robin has used her platform to clarify misconceptions about her life and start meaningful conversations about self-care, personal health, and the pressures women face regarding beauty standards. Robin McGraw's journey reflects the struggles many people face in a society that often emphasizes external beauty. She has shown that it is possible to take control of one's health and well-being while also embracing one's true self. Her honesty and courage to discuss her health issues and cosmetic procedures have made a significant impact on her fans and followers. Robin McGraw has proven to be more than just Dr. Phil's wife. She is a strong and inspiring woman in her own right. By breaking her silence and sharing her experiences, she has opened up important discussions about health, beauty, and self-acceptance. Let's talk daily routine that you use, Robin. First, I start every morning cleaning my face. It's very important that that be the first thing you do. I use my Foaming Joy Purifying Facial Cleanser every morning and every night. Her story encourages others to prioritize their well-being and to make informed decisions about their health without fear of judgment. Robin's journey serves as a reminder that we all have the power to redefine our narratives and embrace our true selves. Plastic Surgery Rumors Robin McGraw recently opened up about plastic surgery rumors on a morning show, explaining why she decided to share her personal secrets with the public. She believes that everyone has experiences that can help others, and she wants to use her own stories to make a positive difference. By revealing her secrets, Robin hopes to inspire and assist those who might be struggling with similar issues. During the show, she took a trip down memory lane and shared advice she gave her husband, Doctor. Phil before they married 45 years ago. Robin recalled telling him that she wanted their marriage to be based on fun and positivity. Although she admired his serious and focused nature, she wanted to ensure that their relationship remained joyful and lighthearted. Robin encouraged Dr. Phil to balance his hard work with playfulness, and he agreed, trusting her vision for their partnership. This approach has played a significant role in their long-lasting marriage, 
and Robin continues to prioritize joy and positivity in every aspect of her life. While Robin McGraw has addressed rumors about her personal life, she has also discussed some regarding her husband. One shocking secret revealed in a book about Dr. Phil's life, titled The Making of Dr. Phil, uncovers a serious issue from his past. Back in 1988, when Dr. Phil was 38 years old and already married, he had a romantic relationship with a 19-year-old girl who was also his therapy patient. This was a serious breach of professional ethics. The Texas State Board of Examiners of Psychologists investigated the situation and found Dr. Phil guilty of unethical behavior. As a result, he was ordered to undergo supervision, take an ethics course, and have physical and psychological evaluations. Instead of facing these consequences, Dr. Phil chose to give up his psychology practice completely. He then started a new company called Courtroom Sciences, leaving his questionable past behind. The fallout from this incident led many people to accuse Dr. Phil of infidelity while married to Robin. However, she has consistently praised him for being a great husband and dismissed the rumors. While Robin has had her own secrets and rumors involving her husband, so have some of the employees working at the Dr. Phil office. A former employee, Leah Rothman, filed a lawsuit against Dr. Phil in 2016, claiming false imprisonment and wrongful termination. According to Rothman, Dr. Phil became furious when he suspected someone had leaked confidential information to the media. Allegedly, he locked employees in a meeting room, yelled at them using profanity, and threatened them if they messed with him. Rothman felt uncomfortable and reported the incident to HR, but they sided with Dr. Phil. She claimed that she had no choice but to quit her job, which led her to file a lawsuit. Her experience raises questions about the work environment at the doctor. Phil office and how conflicts are handled. There have also been claims that Dr. Phil and his team actively look for the most shocking and heartbreaking stories online. This reportedly involves manipulating vulnerable individuals and their families to appear on the show, exploiting their struggles for entertainment and profit. Critics argue that Dr. Phil prioritizes ratings over people's well-being, taking advantage of those dealing with mental health issues or personal crises. This approach has drawn criticism from experts like Dr. Jeff Sugar, who teaches clinical psychiatry at the University of Southern California. Dr. Sugar has publicly condemned Dr. Phil's tactics, calling them harsh and unacceptable. He believes that Dr. Phil shows no remorse for exploiting people's suffering to boost his ratings, stating that he will stop at nothing to gain more viewers. These concerns raise serious ethical questions about Dr. Phil's show. Now, I asked Jeffrey to go backstage so Jennifer and I could talk openly about what she wants now without the intimidation and control of her husband sitting there at her elbow. Now, put Jennifer's picture up in that big screen, please. Just look at yourself. And the impact it has on the guests who appear on it. Dr. Phil's reputation has also suffered due to his involvement in a questionable weight loss program. In 2003, he promoted an expensive and unproven system that included supplements, shakes, and energy bars, costing consumers $120 per month. Moreover, Dr. Phil's own family members endorsed the program on his show, raising suspicions. Experts quickly dismissed the program as baseless, and it caught the attention of the Federal Trade Commission, FTC, leading to an investigation. The consequences were serious, as Dr. Phil faced legal action from customers who felt misled, resulting in a class action lawsuit. Ultimately, he agreed to a $10.5 million settlement. By promoting untested and expensive products, Dr. Phil harmed those seeking genuine solutions for weight loss. You can't change what you don't acknowledge. You gotta own this. The fact that you're predisposed to it doesn't mean you have to be there. It means that you just have harder hills to climb than other people. Does your daughter deserve to have a healthy mother as a good role model, breaking the legacy and choosing something different going forward, or does she not? This episode damaged his reputation, 
leading many to view him as a self-serving promoter rather than a trusted advisor. Dr. Phil's weight loss program sparked criticism from experts who pointed out that he is not a medical doctor. Similarly, many colleagues questioned his credentials as a psychologist, labeling his methods as overly simplistic and ineffective. Dr. Jeff Sugar is one of the experts who has publicly criticized Dr. Phil, but he is not alone. The National Alliance on Mental Illness, NAMI, has also denounced Dr. Phil's approach, calling it unethical and reckless. They argue that he makes sweeping judgments without thorough evaluations, which can be harmful. NAMI specifically took issue with Dr. Phil's on-air assessment of a child, suggesting the child exhibited traits similar to notorious serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer. This diagnosis was made without proper evaluation, prompting NAMI to accuse Dr. Phil of violating professional ethics. Robin McGraw's revelations about her life, her marriage, and the rumors surrounding them have sparked significant conversations about ethics and the treatment of individuals in both personal and professional settings. While Robin continues to inspire others with her openness, the concerns regarding Dr. Phil's past behavior and practices remain serious and troubling. More criticisms of Dr. Phil's work. If you turn to Dr. Phil for help with mental health issues, it's important to know that his qualifications as a psychologist have been questioned. In 2006, Dr. Phil gave up his psychology license in Texas due to various controversies and worries about his professional behavior. One major incident happened in 1988 when the Texas State Board of Examiners of Psychologists filed an ethics complaint against him for hiring a former patient as an employee. Because of this, Dr. Phil no longer has a psychology license. Despite this, he continues to offer advice on his show, even though there are laws that prohibit practicing psychology without a license in California. To work around this, he uses careful wording, claiming that his guests receive general advice instead of professional psychological treatment. This distinction helps him avoid legal issues, but raises questions about the credibility and effectiveness of the advice he gives. With his lack of a license and a history of ethical concerns, viewers should be careful when considering Dr. Phil's advice on mental health topics. Dr. Phil has also faced criticism for how he handles celebrity mental health cases. A well-known example is his involvement with Britney Spears during her hospitalization at Cedar sinai Medical Center. Although Dr. Phil claimed that her family invited him to intervene, Britney did not agree to his involvement. After he publicly discussed her condition, her family turned against him, accusing him of exploiting her situation for personal gain. As a result, plans to feature her story on his show were canceled. This incident raised worries about Dr. Phil's approach to sensitive mental health issues. A similar controversy arose nearly a decade later when Dr. Phil interviewed actress Shelley Duvall. But I didn't plan on, you know, reaching 52 pickup age. <sighs> well, you said and, that uh, you, need, you need help. Who was struggling with her mental health. Many viewers felt the interview was inappropriate and exploitative. Some notable figures like Ronan Farrow and Vivian Kubrick, criticized Dr. Phil's behavior as cruel and shameless. These incidents have led to questions about Dr. Phil's motivations and his methods for handling vulnerable individuals, especially celebrities dealing with mental health struggles. His actions sparked a debate about the ethics of using sensitive situations for entertainment. Dr. Phil's show often features people battling addiction, but disturbing reports suggest that the program sometimes harms those looking for help. A 2017 investigation by STAT and the Boston Globe uncovered shocking claims that the show enables addictive behavior. Former guests, including Todd Herzog, an alcoholic, claimed they received substances backstage that fueled their addiction. Herzog said he arrived sober, but was given vodka and Xanax before filming. Similarly, Caitlin, a pregnant woman experiencing heroin withdrawal, was allegedly taken to a notorious drug hub by a producer, allowing her to buy heroin. These alarming claims raise serious concerns about the show's priorities and how it treats vulnerable guests. 
In Caitlin's case, her mother sought help for her daughter, only to be scolded by Dr. Phil for enabling her. This incident shows a troubling pattern of exploitation, where the show focuses on sensationalism instead of real support. By allegedly providing substances or helping guests access illegal drugs, the show might be causing harm and undermining recovery efforts. But that's not all. Dr. Phil has faced several legal challenges beyond what we've discussed. One unusual case involved Shirley Rue, who accused Dr. Phil of holding her against her will, manipulating her mind, and putting her through disturbing experiences, like being in a room with a naked man and having her breasts touched. These serious allegations are just one example of the many legal problems Dr. Phil has encountered. In another case, his friend Janet Harris sued him and his wife in 2011 after their dog attacked and injured her. Dr. Phil has also been sued for defamation by Thomas Riccio, a memorabilia dealer. The lawsuit arose from promotional materials for Dr. Phil's show, which portrayed Riccio as the mastermind behind a crime and used edited footage to make it look like he agreed with Dr. Phil's accusations. This case highlights concerns about the show's editing practices and the potential misrepresentation of guests. With multiple lawsuits alleging everything from false imprisonment to defamation, Dr. Phil's legal troubles could continue for years. What other shocking secrets have you heard about Dr. Phil? We would love to know in the comments. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to leave a like, share it with your family and friends, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next updates. Also, click on the next video on your screen to enjoy more exciting content. Exc Ron Howard, a legendary director and former actor, recently shared some deeply personal struggles. He even invited me to guest direct The Late Show. Ron Howard has done everything. Historical drama with Frost Nixon, epic fantasy like Willow, action thrillers with Backdraft, even a Disney princess movie. What made this story catch your attention? It's fascinating to think about. While working on a tough scene, something clicked for me. The story wasn't just about excitement, but about real people who lived through those moments. That's where this movie needed to go. Ron Howard is a name everyone knows in the world of cinema and television. But if you think his life is about being a child actor turned famous director, think again. When we were preparing the memorial, we realized that we had a chance to maybe do two things at once. From becoming famous at a young age to making it big behind the camera, Ron Howard's journey is full of excitement, challenges, and hard work. Not only has he proven himself as a great director, but he's also a creative producer, shaping the way we see modern movies. But how did a boy with a friendly smile, who first appeared on The Andy Griffith Show, grow into a director behind major hits like A Beautiful Mind and Apollo 13? Let's dive into Ron Howard's incredible life, from his early days on set to his rise to the top of Hollywood. Yeah, I learned a lot about comedy from, from him. I learned a lot about leadership. The Early Life Ronald William Howard, known to everyone as Ron Howard, was born on March 1, 1954, in Duncan, Oklahoma. March 1, 1954, award-winning actor, producer, and director Ron Howard was born in Duncan, Oklahoma. His family was deeply involved in the arts. His father, Rance Howard, was a passionate actor, and his mother, Jean Spiegel Howard, was a television actress. From a very young age, Ron grew up surrounded by the world of acting, experiencing the magic of film that few other kids had access to. When Ron was still a boy, the family moved to Los Angeles, the center of the movie business. Unlike most children, his early years were filled with auditions, long hours on sets, and bright stage lights. Ron's acting journey started when he was only 18 months old, with a small role in one of his father's films. His charming look quickly caught the eye of filmmakers, and soon he became a well-known child actor. Though he found success early, life wasn't always easy. His role as Opie Taylor on The Andy Griffith Show made him a household name, but behind the scenes, he had to manage both his acting work and school responsibilities. 
His parents were careful to make sure he wasn't just focused on acting, but also stayed committed to his education. Every day, Ron spent time working on schoolwork in quiet areas of the busy Hollywood studios, where he had private tutors to help him stay on track. However, being a famous child star came with its own struggles. At school, Ron's popularity made him the target of teasing. His character's name, Opie, was often turned into nicknames like Dopey or Soapy by other kids. One time, he even faced the embarrassment of wetting his pants in front of his classmates because he was too scared to use the school restroom due to bullying. Yet, with the support of his family, Ron learned how to handle these challenges and eventually found a small group of loyal friends. Yeah. <laughs> he became famous playing Opie Taylor on The Andy Griffin Show. Despite the difficulties, Ron's family provided him with valuable lessons about acting and filmmaking. In the evenings, they would watch movies together and talk about everything from acting techniques to the details of storytelling. These discussions sparked Ron's love not only for acting, but also for what happens behind the camera. It was during these family moments that his dream of becoming a director began to grow. After finishing high school at John Burroughs High School, Ron followed his passion by enrolling in the University of Southern California's School of Cinematic Arts, one of the top film schools in the country. However, due to the pressure of his acting career and film projects, Ron had to leave the program before finishing his degree. But the hands-on experience he gained, along with guidance from his parents and the directors he worked with, gave him a strong foundation for the next stage of his career. The Andy Griffith Show. Even though Ron Howard sometimes felt haunted by and didn't like his character Opie, his role as Opie Taylor in The Andy Griffith Show became a key part of American television. The show first aired in 1960 and quickly turned into one of the most loved TV programs of its time. It tells the story of life in the charming town of Mayberry, where Sheriff Andy Taylor, played by Andy Griffith, leads the way. Opie Taylor, Andy's sweet, kind, and curious son, brought joy and laughter to audiences, especially through his warm relationship with his father. Set in a small southern town, the show captured the slow, peaceful rhythm of life and had strong human values. Besides Andy and Opie, the series featured a memorable supporting cast. Don Knotts played the clumsy but lovable deputy Barney Fife, while Francis Bavier portrayed Aunt B, who acted like a mother to Opie. We went to the rap party. That this was this was it for the Andy Griffith show. Um, and Andy was up there on the microphone talking. Each character added their own special charm, creating a mix of humor and heartwarming moments that viewers loved. With its gentle storytelling, nostalgic feel, and close family dynamics, The Andy Griffith Show won the hearts of audiences across generations. It wasn't just about a small-town family. It also showed a simpler way of life where problems could be solved with a nice chat on the porch. Even decades after it first aired, The Andy Griffith Show remains a classic in American television. It still plays on channels like TV Land, MeTV, and Paramount Plus, bringing joy to new viewers. The uncut episodes can be streamed online, allowing audiences to enjoy the sweetness of that time. However, behind the scenes, life on The Andy Griffith Show was not as calm as it seemed. Andy Griffith, known for his wise and easygoing personality as Sheriff Taylor, had a reputation for having a quick temper off camera. His outbursts sometimes caused tension on set. Don Knotts, who played Deputy Barney Fife and was a close friend of Griffith's, didn't always have an easy relationship with him. Knotts won several Emmy Awards for his role, which reportedly made Griffith feel envious, creating some hidden tensions, especially when Knotts left the show to focus on his own career. The personal lives of the actors were filled with secrets and rumors. Griffith, known for his temper, also had a complicated love life. His rumored affairs with co-stars like Anetta Corsaw, who played Helen Crump, created buzz on set and sparked gossip. Don Knotts, while playing a loyal and funny character, 
faced his own issues, including a troubled marriage and relationships outside of it. Even though the relationships among the main cast weren't always perfect, these challenges created a sense of friendship and realness in their performances. Despite the conflicts and disagreements, teamwork helped the crew overcome personal struggles to make one of the greatest television shows ever. The behind-the-scenes stories, while sometimes surprising, only add more depth to the tale of the show's success. Transition to directing. My earliest memories are of my dad directing Summer Stock, so I was literally, like, literally wandering around. Ron Howard became a famous child star through his roles in The Andy Griffith Show and Happy Days. However, from a young age, he was not only interested in acting, but also in what happened behind the camera. Unlike many actors, Ron didn't just want to be in front of the lens. He was curious about how films were made, the directing process, understand the important role a director plays in creating a film. But Ron didn't stop at just watching. He started making his own short films. These small projects helped him practice his skills and learn more about the craft. As his passion for directing grew, Ron realized that moving from a famous actor to a skilled director wouldn't be simple. He knew that many people would still see him as Opie Taylor or Richie Cunningham, characters connected to the childhoods of many fans. In 1977, at the age of 23, Ron took a brave step by challenging himself with his directorial debut, Grand Theft Auto. This small, low-budget project was a key moment for Ron in establishing himself as a director. Although Grand Theft Auto was not a huge commercial hit, it marked an important first step toward his directing career. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, Ron continued to develop his directing skills through several TV projects like Cotton Candy, 1978, and Skyward, 1980. These films allowed him to practice directing techniques, manage a film crew, and work with actors while creating stories from his perspective. However, these early projects were just stepping stones and didn't yet lead to widespread recognition for Ron as a director. His big break came with Night Shift, 1982, a romantic comedy starring Henry Winkler and Michael Keaton. This film gave Ron the chance to fully show off his storytelling skills. Night Shift received positive reactions from both audiences and critics, helping Ron establish himself as a promising young director in Hollywood. Building on the success of Night Shift, his next major project was Splash, 1984. This romantic comedy featured Tom Hanks and Daryl Hannah and told the story of a man who falls in love with a mermaid. Splash not only performed well at the box office, but also marked the first time Ron received wide critical praise as a director. The film's clever and emotional storytelling proved that Ron was more than just an actor-turned-director. He was a filmmaker who could create powerful stories through images. In 1985, Ron continued to strengthen his reputation with the science fiction film Cocoon, which told the story of a group of elderly people who find a pool of water with rejuvenating powers. The film was a commercial success and even won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for Donna Meche. Cocoon showed Ron's ability to manage larger films with special effects while still delivering touching and emotional stories. In 1989, Ron brought another successful project to life with Parenthood. Hollywood reporter Ron Howard is taking over as director of the film. A family drama about the complexities of relationships and how family members face life's challenges. Parenthood was a commercial hit and received praise from critics for its warm mix of humor and heartfelt moments. This film highlighted Ron's talent for blending humor and emotion to create moving stories that touched audiences. However, the true peak of Ron Howard's directing career came with Apollo 13, 1995. This film marked a significant leap in his growth as a director. Based on the true story of the failed 1970 space mission, Apollo 13 starred Tom Hanks, Kevin Bacon, and Bill Paxton. The film was a massive commercial success, 
grossing over $335 million worldwide and receiving nine Academy Award nominations, including Best Picture and Best Director. Apollo 13 established Ron as one of Hollywood's top directors, showcasing his skill in combining technical precision with a deeply emotional narrative. Thanks to Apollo 13, Ron Howard secured his place among the most talented and respected directors in Hollywood, proving he was not just a former child actor, but a master storyteller behind the camera. After making his mark with Apollo 13, Ron Howard entered the peak phase of his directing career. During this time, he solidified his reputation with a series of diverse and critically acclaimed films. One of his most significant achievements was A Beautiful Mind, 2001, a film that told the life story of brilliant mathematician John Nash. The movie also showed Nash's struggles with schizophrenia. Under Ron's skilled direction, the film depicted Nash's internal battle while also highlighting a touching story about love, perseverance, and the unwavering support of his devoted wife. A Beautiful Mind earned four Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director for Ron Howard. This success firmly established him as one of Hollywood's top directors and is considered a high point in his career. And what happened is, about 20 years ago, when he was starting to become really famous as a director, he and his wife wanted to raise their kids outside Hollywood. Following A Beautiful Mind, Ron didn't slow down. He continued to advance his career with larger and more diverse projects. In 2006, he directed The Da Vinci Code, an adaptation of Dan Brown's famous mystery thriller novel. This project was ambitious, requiring Ron to balance thrilling elements with sensitive religious themes. Despite the controversies surrounding its content, The Da Vinci Code became a global sensation, grossing over $750 million worldwide. This film became one of Ron's most commercially successful works and showcased his talent in handling complex, thought-provoking stories. Beyond commercial hits, Ron also ventured into deeper narratives. In 2008, he released Frost Nixon, a film based on the historic interviews between journalist David Frost and former U.S. President Richard Nixon. Frost Nixon was not just a political drama. It was an intense battle of minds, with both characters driven by their conflicting ambitions. Under Ron's direction, the film captured the psychological depth of the characters, keeping audiences engaged from beginning to end. It received five Academy Award nominations, including Best Director for Ron Howard, proving his ability to handle historical and political narratives with precision. While many directors often focus on a single genre, Ron showed his versatility by continuously challenging himself with different types of films. In 2013, he amazed audiences with Rush, a film about the legendary rivalry between Formula One drivers James Hunt and Nicky Lauda. Rush was a perfect blend of exciting racing scenes and deeply emotional storytelling, keeping viewers on the edge of their seats. First of all, I was surprised that Rush is happening, like I like just uh, said. Well, but when I saw it the first time, I was impressed that, that there was no Hollywood changes or, or, or things changed a little bit. The film was not only a critical success, but also demonstrated Ron's ability to turn an unexpected topic, like motorsports, into a compelling human drama. Rush further showcased Ron's diverse directing style, proving he could transform unfamiliar subjects into captivating and heartfelt stories. A Star Wars Story As part of the iconic Star Wars universe, the project was a large-scale production with high technical demands. Ron was brought in to replace the original director midway through filming, a move that placed immense pressure on him to complete the film. Despite these challenges, Ron successfully finished the project, delivering a visually stunning and emotionally engaging movie for Star Wars fans. While Solo did not meet the expected box office performance, Ron's skillful handling of the action, visual effects and storytelling once again demonstrated his versatility. 
he showed he could tackle a wide range of genres, from political and psychological dramas to sci-fi epics. Ron Howard's impressive career is not only marked by his well-known films, but also by the numerous prestigious awards he has received. Along with his Oscar for A Beautiful Mind, Ron has earned nominations for films like Apollo 13, Frost Nixon, and Rush. His continued exploration of different themes and genres, from human psychology to action-packed stories, showcases his endless creativity and adaptability. These qualities have secured Ron Howard's legacy as one of Hollywood's most talented and versatile directors, making him a master storyteller across the cinematic spectrum. Personal Life Ron Howard is not only known for his amazing career as a talented director, but also for living a peaceful and fulfilling personal life, far from the glitz and chaos often linked to Hollywood. He married Cheryl Alley on June 7, 1975, and together they have built a strong and lasting relationship that has endured for nearly 50 years. Cheryl, who later became a writer, has always been a steadfast companion and supporter throughout Ron's journey, from his days as an actor to becoming one of the most renowned directors in Hollywood. Ron is presently married to Cheryl Alley Howard. She was born in December 1953 and is a graduate from the California State University. She and Ron were close since high school and eventually tied the knot in June 1975. Ron often shares that, from the moment he met Cheryl in high school, he knew she was the one he wanted to be with. They first met as students at John Burroughs High School in California and have supported each other through all of life's ups and downs. Ron believes there is no grand secret to maintaining a long-lasting relationship other than open and honest communication. He and Cheryl have always created an environment where they can freely express themselves, listen to one another, and work through challenges together. One key factor that has strengthened Ron and Cheryl's bond is the unwavering support she has given him throughout his career. When Ron transitioned from acting to directing, Cheryl was by his side, encouraging him and giving him the space he needed to follow his passion. Ron has admitted that much of his success is thanks to Cheryl's patience and support. She has been more than just a life partner. She has been his pillar of strength during the toughest times. Their marriage has been further blessed with four children, Bryce Dallas Howard, Jocelyn Carlisle, Paige Carlisle, and Reed Cross. Among them, Bryce is the most well-known, having followed in her parents' footsteps in the entertainment industry and becoming a successful actress and director. Chris Pratt has had a lot of criticism directed at him, but he's finally getting some praise, and this time it's coming from his co-star Bryce Dallas Howard. Ron has always been protective of his children, especially regarding the pressures of the acting world. He and Cheryl decided not to let their kids enter the industry at a young age, despite their passion for the arts. Ron wanted to ensure they had a normal childhood and were not burdened by comparisons to his iconic roles. The Howard family leads a relatively private life away from the spotlight. Ron has always valued family and works hard to maintain a balance between his career and personal life. Along with nurturing their family, Ron and Cheryl have raised their children with strong moral values and a sense of responsibility, always encouraging them to pursue their passions without getting caught up in the allure of fame. Ron and Cheryl are now proud grandparents to five grandchildren and find great joy in watching their family grow. He often shares that family values are what he holds most dear, and it is the stability of his family that has allowed him to remain creative and focused throughout his long career. New Revelations About the Past Looking back on the years spent filming The Andy Griffith Show, Ron Howard often reflects on his childhood, where Desilu Studios became more than just a workplace. It became a significant part of his life. From a young age, Ron witnessed and experienced many unforgettable moments, both sweet and challenging. Growing up on a film set sometimes felt like living in a different world where reality and fiction intertwined. One of Ron's most memorable moments was trying to throw a rock into a lake during the show's iconic opening scene. His small arms weren't strong enough to toss the rock far enough, so a crew member had to step in and throw it for him. The Andy Griffith Show. 
Starring Andy Griffith. With Ronnie Howard. Also starring Don Knotts. These small yet impactful details reveal that even in the world of cinema, things are not always as they appear on screen. While the joyful memories of working on set remain a cherished part of Ron's past, he doesn't shy away from sharing the lesser-known truths. The set of The Andy Griffith Show wasn't always a peaceful place. Crew members often drank alcohol and the work environment was thick with cigarette smoke, making it sometimes too harsh for a young boy. Ron recalled that his eyes would often sting from the smoke, and he was exposed to inappropriate sights for his age, such as crude graffiti on the restroom walls. Growing up in such an environment brought both happiness and significant challenges. As a child actor, Ron had to cope with the pressures of both work and life outside the studio. He was often teased by his peers for his fame, enduring mocking taunts about his character, Opie. However, instead of letting these experiences bring him down, Ron learned to rise above them. The lessons he absorbed during his early years helped him develop resilience and gave him a deeper understanding of the tough realities of the entertainment industry. As Ron grew older and continued his career, those childhood experiences became the foundation that shaped him into the talented director he is today. He frequently credits his time observing directors on set as the inspiration that fueled his passion for working behind the camera. The challenges and joys of his past gave him unique insight into storytelling, a gift that became evident in the successful films he directed later in life. Ron's reflections on his journey have made him appreciate the importance of perseverance and passion. From a beloved child actor to an acclaimed director, his story is a testament to growth, overcoming obstacles, and the never-ending pursuit of knowledge. Although time has passed, the memories of The Andy Griffith Show remain with him as a cherished and irreplaceable part of his life and career. Current Life At 70, Ron Howard continues to nurture his passion for filmmaking. Although he no longer sits at the pinnacle of his career as he once did, he now leads a fulfilling life surrounded by his family, especially his wife, Cheryl Alley, who has been his steadfast companion for nearly half a century. Together, they have built a happy family with four children, including Bryce Dallas Howard, who has followed in her father's footsteps, making her mark as both an actress and a director. Ron and Cheryl also share a deep bond with their grandchildren, dedicating much of their time to enjoying family life. Nevertheless, Ron hasn't fully stepped away from cinema. In 2024, he is involved in several major projects, most notably Eden, a survival horror film he has been developing for over a decade. This film is set to be released soon and revolves around a mysterious event in the Galapagos Islands, captivating audiences with an intriguing story and a star-studded cast, including Jude Law and Ana de Armas. This project is deeply personal for Ron, affirming that his creative spark still burns brightly after decades in the film industry. In addition to Eden, Ron Howard is delving into the life of Jim Henson, the creator of The Muppets, with the documentary Jim Henson Idea Man, released on Disney Plus in 2024. So no doubt you are familiar with the name Jim Henson. Now, the story of the man behind many of our favorite movies and iconic characters is finally being told. Lindsay Davis spoke to award-winning director Ron Howard about how his new documentary dives into the mind of one of the world's most renowned creators. This project is one that Ron is particularly proud of. Not only does it recount the story of a once-in-a-generation talent like Henson, but it also reveals how Henson has been a significant source of inspiration in Ron's own creative journey. Currently, Ron maintains his dedication to his work while focusing more on his family and inspirational projects. He often reflects on his life and career, expressing gratitude for the successes he has achieved, from his early days as a child actor to his status as a renowned director. Ron Howard has undergone an extraordinary journey, evolving from a beloved child actor on The Andy Griffith Show to becoming one of Hollywood's most renowned directors. 
The years spent on set nurtured a passion for storytelling, not only in front of the camera, but also behind it. From iconic films like Apollo 13 and A Beautiful Mind, to his latest projects like Eden, Ron has proven that perseverance, continuous learning, and an unwavering dedication to his craft are the keys to success. Ron's journey is a testament to the power of dreaming big and working hard to achieve those dreams. His achievements as a director have firmly established him as one of the greatest talents in the world of cinema. Without a doubt, Ron Howard's career will continue to shine and inspire generations to come. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed hearing about Ron Howard's incredible life story, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on more exciting content. Leave a comment and share your thoughts on his journey from child actor to legendary director. See you in the next video.